Hello everyone, welcome to JS Geeks and my name is Deepak. Here in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about property binding and then we will quickly see what event handling is all about. And post that, we are also going to be seeing at the rate input and at the rate output. Okay, so let's start with the property binding property binding in Angular. In order to do this, what I'm going to do is like I'll just see, I'll write input and So what, what, what does it really mean is that whenever is morning is true, I'm going to be disabling this particular input. And let's say whenever is morning is false, I'm going to be enabling this. So what is really me? Well, what it really means is that it is going to be this the is morning will be bound to the property disabled inside your input element. And this disabled this disabled would control the behavior of this particular input. So how it really works in action is so this is what we are going to be seeing just now. So let me take you to the Chrome and here you notice that I can write a lot of different things. And let's say if I click it here, you may notice that I'm not really able to make any changes in here. So the moment it becomes good morning or whenever this particular variable, which is is morning is true, it is getting disabled. And let's say if I make it um, enabled again, I can write it, I can delete things. Right. So what we have essentially done in this particular tutorial is in this particular case is that we have bound property to your HTML and that property is is morning and that this property is actually is actually bound to disable property of an input and then your input is being disabled or enabled at the, with the, on the on the basis of is morning. So whenever is morning is true, it is getting disabled. Otherwise, it is getting enabled so that's how essentially you do the property binding in angular so you whenever whatever property that you wish to bind to your particular variable you will have to define that in bigger brackets like the way it is written over here and then once you define it whatever value that you write over here will be taken in so that's how the property binding really works in angular so the now the next point or the next thing that we're going to be talking about is event handling and I think that you have already seen the event handling. Like in this case, what really happens is that line number four, whenever you click to this particular event, so this, this event binding usually happens with a regular bracket like the way it is written over here. So whenever you, let's say if you want to bound click and let's say if you want to bind mouse over, I want to alert user method. Then what do I really do is like on, on mouse enter so please note that whenever you are defining any event in your html you try to define its handler by the name with with the same name and in the on you prefix on in the beginning so what really happens in this case is that i have written on mouse enter so let me define this here let's say i'll say hi So what would really happen the moment my mouse enters on this particular button it is going to be displaying an error and it is going to be displaying an alert so let's just see that in action so here is the template let's say if i keep my mouse over on click on click here button it says hi let me cancel it let me show that again so there you go you can see that this is how the property binding and the event binding works in angular so next we are going to be talking about how the component communication happens between one another so if you look at my screen right now and i'll let you let me take you to the code and here you may notice that i have given one particular component over here so it says dashboard ng19 header and then the component that is being used is called app component so you can see that both of these components lie one closer to one another so let's say let's say if i were to pass any property to display inside the header how would i do that this happens with the help of a decorator which is called at the rate which is called input so what i'm going to do is like i'm just going to be passing one particular property to this component and then the same property will be used inside my header so how do i do that so in order to do this what i really need to do is to define a property inside a component so in this case it's going to be the header component so let me open the ts file of it and as I said, in order to pass a property, in order to communicate to and from a component, you really need to define at the rate input, the decorator. So let me write at the rate input. 
right? And the default value of it, let me say dashboard or let's say no name. So what I'm going to do is like I'll I'm going to be passing the same property from the parent component to the header component. I'm going to be displaying that in the header. So let me open this header works. And instead of this, I'm going to be passing this as let's say title. And I'm going to be saying hello title, right? And then um, in order to pass this particular property, I'll again take you back to the app component. And as we had defined the title property here, so I'm going to be writing title. And let's say I'm going to be writing Deepak. So what really happens in this case is that it is going to be passing in the property as a string and the string is Deepak, right? So let's just see this in action, how it really works in my Chrome browser. So there you go. Now you can see that the header display hello Deepak. And again, I'll take you back to the code and here in the code, let's say if I wish to define that dynamically, what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to be pointing this to a particular, um, particular variable and I'm going to be, let's say, defining that as a, as a property and then the variable name, let's say this was a property or, or also the behavior I'm going to be making is, let's say if somebody clicks on this particular amount, uh, morning toggle, I'm going to be sending, let's say my name in case if is morning is false, I'm going to be making it as no name, right? I'm going to be defining or I'm going to be sending the undefined in that case, right? So app component, header name, and I'm going to be undefined and this I'm going to be making as We define the header name right at the top. So let's say if you do not wish to provide the initial value, you can always declare it with the exclamation mark in the end. And that's how it will not really demand any particular value to be assigned. And it is going to be a string or undefined right so it can hold any one of these value and that's how it becomes correct here so let's say if the is morning is true it's going to be displaying the deepak otherwise it's going to be sending undefined so let me just take you back to the chrome browser and let me see if that works okay so i'm going to be i, I think i'll have to remove this particular alert from the mouse over so let me take you back to the code and here at the app component i'm going to be removing this particular event I don't think so I need this let me save this and I think I also have to pass this particular variable inside my header component so I'm going to be writing the header name over here let's just save this okay so as you can see the error it shows right at the time when I'm writing this name is that header is basically string and undefined whereas the title defined inside the component inside the header component only accepts string so in order to change this i'm going to be defining this and i think now this should be good and then i think i, I just i can remove this all together i don't really need this now let me take you to the chrome browser and see how it works so there you go now you can see that the hello let's see if i click on this particular value it displays as deepak good morning deepak hello deepak or hello otherwise right so now we can see that it works properly so uh, this is all about input and now again i'm going to be talking about another decorator which is called at the rate output so which means let's say if i were to receive some message from the header component and the message has to be displayed in the parent side so in that case, what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to be defining the output, which is a decorator is also type of an event emitter. So what really happens is that whenever you, uh, let's say if you wish to pass this, if you wish to pass some particular value from your component to the parent component, in that case, you do it by the use of event emitter. So event emitter is essentially used to pass message from your parent to child or child to parent i mean like from from child to parent so uh, now you can understand that in order to in order for a component to 
to send a value to a particular component you send it using a property and that you define in the input and let's say if you were to send any any property or any value outside the component to its parent component in that case you define the decorator out so i'm going to be defining salutation so this becomes an event and as we had seen previously the event binding really happens in case of your component is through regular bracket so how do i define this so i'm going to be defining this salutation on salutation and so whatever value that comes from your salutation will be passed on here so i'm going to be defining this event and i'll have to define the value the body method body for this particular case so i'm going to be going to the app component and let me define this particular method over here right so whatever value that comes from your header component will be used inside an alert right now what i'm going to do is like i'll again go take you back to the header component and in the header component i'm going to be opening the html file of it and let's me define a button me open and split the screen to two half let me see if i could call it like this so let me define this celebration call like this so i'm going to be changing this so what it essentially really means is that it is going to be passing a particular value for this which is of type string so let's say if you were to pass the string here that's how you would define that event emitter of type string right so now what would happen is like in the header you would also see one particular button and upon click of that button you would see the salutation being passed in your app component and that's what we will see in the alert so let me take you to the chrome browser and let me click you see salutation here so that's how you essentially pass a particular value now what i'm going to do is like i'm just going to be defining the button inside the paragraph the way i've written over here so after this what would really happen is that the button would also appear in the header in the red color background so let me take you back to the chrome and there you go now you can see that the button also appears in the header so let me click it there you go you can pass the message from a child to the parent in this case it's header component to the app component and let's say if you were to pass anything from the parent to child and that's how you by clicking here you pass this value from parent to child so that's all about um header rate input and header rate output properties header rate input and header rate output decorator for a particular component for communication so thank you once again ladies and gentlemen for listening and all that while and and in case if you're liking my work please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon in case if i post a new video you would be notified so thank you once again ladies and gentlemen i'm going to be seeing you in the next one where i'll cover the more other aspect of angular framework